Hi, welcome back to the Spring Boot tutorial. In this video, we are going to discuss about the at response body annotation. In fact, this at response body annotation is not specific to Spring Boot. It is a part of the Spring framework. So let's understand with an example. So what is the purpose of at response body annotation? So at response body annotation can be put on a method and it indicates that the return value of the method should bind to the HTTP response body. Okay, so let's understand with simple words. Let's assume that we are retrieving the single user from the database. And once we get the user from the database, instead of adding that user data to the model or displaying it in the view template, what we can do is we can write that user data directly to the HTTP response. So in order to do that, we are going to use at response body annotation on the method. So under the hood, the spring uses the HTTP message converter to convert the method return value to the HTTP response body based on the content type present in the request HTTP header. So again, the best way to understand this with an example. So let's jump into our STS and let's create the spring boot application and let's look at the example. So I'm inside the STS. I have already created a project with Spring Boot response body. And if you expand this inside the source main Java, we have three packages, the controller and model and the, the base package. So inside the model, I'm going to create a new class and I'm going to call the class name as user. And inside this, I'm going to create a private fields. So private string name, private string location, private long age. So let's quickly create the setters and getters. And also I'm going to generate the two string. All right, so now we have created the model class. Let's save this and inside the controller, let's create a user controller. So I will quickly Annotate this with the at controller. Let's create a method public user. The return type is a user, and I'm going to call this get user. So inside this, I'm going to create a new user object. Let's quickly add some values. Set name i'm going to add my name bushan user dot set age okay this is we have imported the user from a different package and sorry about that let's import it from the model package I'm going to set the age 28 user dot set location. I'm from India. I'm going to add L because this is a long. Okay, let's save this and we need to return the user. So let's return the user. Okay, so looking, looking at this uh, method inside the method, we are not adding the user data to the uh, model or not even returning it to the view template. We are just writing it to the HTTP response body. So in order to do that, we have to annotate this method with the at response body. So at response body and let's import this at response body and the controller. So now let's save this and now let's run the file. 
and see what do we get run as spring boot application all right the application is started now let's open the postman and i think i forgot something so let's go to the user controller you can see we have not annotated this with the at uh, get mapping so let's add the at get mapping and i'm going to specify the uri which is slash user let's import the get mapping and now let's save this again the application will restart again because we have added the dev tools to our pom.xml so now let's go to the postman and try for localhost colon 8080 slash user and when i click on this send we do get the user data in the json format this is because of we have added the at response entity so now this user object will directly write it to the http response with the help of at response body annotation okay so but now what we can do is instead of uh, explicitly writing this at response body annotation what we can do is we can remove this and we can change the, this to at rest controller So if we specify address controller at the class level, of course, the address controller is only applicable for the classes. And once we added the address controller, we don't have to explicitly specify the at response body annotation on each and every method. So by default, it will be added to the methods. So now if I save this again, and if I go to the postman again, when I send the request again still we do get the same response okay so earlier we we were using if you are using a at controller annotation and if you want to return the data directly to the http response body then you can directly use the at response body annotation on the method level so that's all about the at response body annotation hope you enjoyed this video thanks for watching i will see you in the next video